American Recut, a spoiler-free review show where I, Nick, and I, Brendan, dissect films and television to save you from atrocious media. 2019's Aladdin, a kind-hearted street urchin, and a power-hungry grand vizier? 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 Buy for a magic lamp that has the power to make their deepest wishes come true. Directed by Guy Ritchie, written by John August, Guy Ritchie. All right. Joining us today is our is our friend Tom. Happy to be here, guys. Thank you. You may have heard of him from his previous work. I'm sure you have. John Wick, little known project. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, what were you? Uh, cadaver number forty-seven. Wick, uh, forty-eight. But yep. Yeah, oh, you were <laughs> My <early>. apologies. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyways, though, let's get into Aladdin. Uh, as usual, we'll be going through our usual. Uh, themes, story, effects, and characters. And I want to start the stuff with, with effects. Uh, Tom, let's start with you. Uh, what do you think about the effects? Spoiler free, of course. Uh, yes, uh, the effects, I felt like uh, overall, it was lots of CGI. Basically, a oh, yeah. primarily CGI driven movie. Um, Smorgasbord. I don't know, I wasn't that impressed. Uh, yeah, likewise I felt like with the effects, I wasn't super impressed as far as the CGI goes. Mm-hmm. I was a little bit more impressed than I expected with the uh, practical effects, you know, like the costuming, the set design, what have you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, generally the camera work was competent, uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the costume looked fine. Uh, the sets looked good, even. The they they, they, they skate well enough, yeah. Yeah, sets so look good. Um, camera work was pretty nice, kept things kind of, I think, Added to the uh, the interesting sort of dynamic of the story, made it a little Absolutely. more palatable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> distracted us from some of the other things happening. Uh, and Brendan? Uh, same. No, the setting was gorgeous. Uh, it was a CGI smorgasbord, but uh, the effects did distract from other things. So, I mean, it, it was palatable. Like uh, Tom so said, it was palatable. Speaking of other things, let's talk about the characters. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Characters, uh, Brennan, let's start with you. What was your thought on the characters? Oh, the genie hog, the whole limelight. Everyone else was wooden and either badly dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I concur. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm with you on that too. Uh, a, a lot of characters came across as very wooden or very kind of low effort acting. Uh, Will Smith actually put in a ton of effort here. I, a I was, lot of, I mean, great charismatic. What do, you, what do you expect from Will Smith? But it was done, especially seeing the previews of how the genie looked. It was a whole thing online. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Uh, a very, you know, um, mockery of sorts almost, but yeah. I feel like that a little roasted. Yeah, I feel like, and, 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 and actually in practice, it worked out pretty well. It worked out pretty, pretty well. well. He was yeah, arguably well. the best part of the whole movie. I no. would probably agree with you there, yeah. The <laughs> trailers, you know, it gave everyone the impression of, oof, that's gonna smart. But really? Which uh, it did. It did, but you know, I mean, he was the cavalry of the whole movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, alright, uh, moving on, let's talk about the story very briefly. What about it? <laughs> uh, the story, uh... Uh, not to give us spoilers for a movie that's like 30 years old, but uh, it, it does have a lot in common with, it, with with the animated feature, if that's what you're wondering. Mm-hmm. Uh, it does take liberties in a few places, which I think are not for the best. I think they're not, it, they didn't turn out for the best, but I, I do, it's one of those things like, I, you know, it's good that they tried, I think. Oh, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather see something a little different than a, a direct carbon copy in, in real, you know, live action. Yeah, you, you're not a special um, source material by any means. Right. Whatever. But but yes, it, we're. I think the general consensus is that it did not exactly play out. Uh, they tried some things and rushed some other parts. Uh, it was, yeah. The plot was diet Aladdin. Let's put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, finally, let's get into whatever themes there were in this movie, if mm-hmm. any. Which oh yeah. I, I can't think of what themes were in this. I movie. mean, it's the the, the themes. Uh, I guess the basic themes of. of Accept yourself. Self confidence. What it's really what's inside. That sort of thing. Yeah, there, I think you get that some stuff. of that. There's a little bit uh, of a female empowerment thing. Tag there on, was I'll, that. I'll, I'll dig into with the yes, uh, Babylon. Yes, they definitely. And actually, I feel yeah. Uh, yes, <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll uh, dissect that more. Uh, also, don't be a greedy douche because you know villain trying to go for a whole what hostile takeover thing mm-hmm, never ends well. Mm-hmm, so that's also a recurring theme. You're right? always going to end up being ultra powerful and stuck in a little lamp. It's, yep. a, it's a timeless lesson. All right. Uh, so, uh, Tom, would you see this in theaters, or would you recommend seeing this in theaters? Um, if uh, your friend pays for you, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. <laughs> 
uh, Brendan, how about you? For the, eff- for the effects, I would. I would. Uh, the plot, no. But for the effects, and to see Will Smith in uh, high-definition action, yeah. It's a trade-off. I think that if I didn't know what an Aladdin was mm-hmm. and was just going to this blind, I probably wouldn't recommend it in right. this case. It comes across a little bit mixed in whose mm-hmm. audience is. Yeah, I think if you're looking for, if you're you're going and setting your expectations, you're familiar with the original Aladdin, you know that this might not really live up to what you remember from that, and it's just, you're going with that sort of lightheartedness. Yeah. And just want to, just sort of want an enjoyable movie that's not too heavy. Uh, that's kind of what you get. Absolutely. And Kids at, liked it. <laughs> at, the, at the very least, this is not Hellboy. This is not uh, uh, real travesties. <laughs> no, no, we've seen worse. <laughs> All right, well, th- thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the Ramblon. Thank you.